Resolution just adopted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the members for their unanimous support of House Resolution 1019. I thought it would be appropriate to rise and make a few statements about uh, Richard Mellon Scaife. Richard Mellon Scaife was many things. He was a political activist, he was a philanthropist, and he was the owner and publisher of a newspaper. His newspaper, initially called the Greensburg Tribune Review, later the Pittsburgh Tribune Review, became the centerpiece of Trib Total Media, now the largest source of news and information in western Pennsylvania and beyond. Mr. Scape passed away on Independence Day 2014, one day after his 82nd birthday. Where should we, we begin as we remember this man? Perhaps by paraphrasing the words of Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who said, Richard Mellonscape was born into great wealth and could have done one of three things. He could have simply sat back and leisurely enjoyed the fruits of someone else's labor, he could have miserably squandered his family's fortune, or he could have ultimately did what he did, and that is make thoughtful investments, spend a life engaging in some of the most remarkable and long-lasting philanthropy in our nation's history. Richard Mullenscape chose the latter road, and in doing so, made a mark in southwestern Pennsylvania for sure, and on the entire nation. Mr. Scape chose to use the opportunities created by his family's fortune to make a mark upon the landscape of both American politics and American journalism. But he didn't stop there. The arts, institutes of higher learning, and community programs, both large and small, have all benefited from his vision and generosity. Many of his politi political interests are well known. And because of his involvement, some of these organizations have become almost household words. Mr. Scaife provided critical financial support to conservative groups like the Heritage Foundation and the Cato Institute. He spurred the creation of the Allegheny Institute of Public Policy, which remains a leading voice in public policy issues in western Pennsylvania. His support of the arts and cultural interests was equally extensive. Mr. Scaife provided critical financial support to the Sarah Scaife Gallery at the Carnegie Museum and to the Westmoreland Museum of American Art in Greensburg. He funded an early expansion of the Pittsburgh Aviary and provided more than $1.4 million for the Boys and Girls Clubs of South of Western Pennsylvania. And this is just a few of his endeavors. As I close, I cannot fail to mention that above all, Mr. Scaife was a newspaperman. He had a passionate belief that newspaper publishing and a free press are essential to a free and prospering nation. Beginning with his purchase of the Greensburg Tribune Review in 1970, and con continuing for more than four decades, Mr. Scaife demonstrated his unwavering commitment to a free press as a bulwark to a free society. Thank you today for honoring his memory and his enduring legacy by your unanimous support of House Resolution 1019. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yep, let me just organize it.